What I want to talk about is the importance of understanding the different profiles or different natural energies of the people around your boardroom table and why you end up making the kinds of decisions you end up making because of the weighting of the different profiles. So as you've probably experienced in your life and your family and the people you work with, there are some people that naturally come up with new ideas and like change. They like doing new things, learning new things. They like being engaged and trying different experiences that they haven't experienced before. And there are the others who are almost complete opposite. They don't like having things thrown at them that they don't have hadn't had the opportunity to think about. They don't like learning new processes because they've just got used to the previous one. And on the other side, you've got individuals that like being with people. They like meeting new people. In fact, they get energy from meeting new people. And if they're in a situation where they need to find out something, they're most likely to turn to the colleague next to them and speak to them or pick up the phone and try and find out the answer. Whereas you've got the opposite, where they're more likely to send an email or they're more likely to open a book or try to find it online before they engage with any of their, their, their other members of their team and talk about something. In other words, they need to process it. They need to spend time understanding the information before they overtly communicate with anyone else. We are born with different ways of doing things. We are born with different ways of thinking. At a board level, understanding those differences and utilizing those differences to get better decision-making processes is absolutely vital. The different profiles I'm talking about ask different questions. They see different issues when we're talking about the various topics in a board meeting process. There'll be those that understand the what of the process. They understand what it is we're trying to do. Where are we going in terms of the product, the service, the new ideas that need to be generated to move us forward. Then there's also the people who understand who needs to be involved. Have we got the right people on our team to really make this happen? And if not, what do we need to do to change that? And what do we need to do to recruit them? And then there are those who are going to say, well, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't need any more new ideas. The last thing we need is new, any new products right now. We're still battling to implement and sell and develop the ones that we've already got. Just, whoa, guys. Let's just consolidate, think about what it is we're doing, have a bit of a review about the stuff that we're already, we're already producing, we're already selling. And then those are looking at the data and saying, okay, well, actually, we haven't got a problem with the people. We haven't got a problem with our sales process. We don't need new products and services. Actually, we've got some major production issues that are causing problems. It's costing too much. We've got too much wastage. We've got too much stock. All of those questions are absolutely valid, and particularly at a board level. Your management teams will have very specializations and they'll have a particular weighting of energy. A marketing team will be thinking about products and new services and the people far more than someone that's working in production. And that's okay. But at a board level, you need to cover all the bases. You need to ask all of those questions. Otherwise, you miss opportunities and possibly more importantly, you miss really critical risks that are likely to come up and bite you. One of the tools that we use both internally when doing our recruitment process, but also when we're looking at directors to fill this, the independent director slots on our client boards, is Contribution Compass. The Contribution Compass profiling system gives you an indication of your natural energy. And I'd highly recommend doing a review of your existing board, existing executive directors to see what their profiles are, and then you can identify where the gaps might be. And if you want to engage with us to bring in independent directors to help fill those gaps, then please get in touch. So get in touch with us to find out what your profiles are, what the profiles are of your executive team. And if you need help filling the gaps, building a board that's going to make a difference, building a high performance board as we call it, then also contact us.